Hi, this is Shadi and today we're gonna be taking a look at the old school throws of catch wrestling. Often when we discuss catch wrestling, it's usually the groundwork, the pins, the neck cranks, the double wrist locks, all these things, trying to rival it with judo's legendary Neiwaza and talking about how you can incorporate it, you know, BJJ versus catch wrestling, the whole thing. But what I will do today is go through the throws, of course, um, with a book uh, in hand or on the screen. It will be in the description below. So the book that I will be using today is um, The Art, The Science of Wrestling and the Art of Jiu-Jitsu. If you think about it, it's a very clever title. So the link will be in the description. I'm not going to go through everything, the Jiu-Jitsu parts. I'm, not, I'm just going to go through the wrestling part um, for obvious reasons. But it's over 200 pages long, so you can really enjoy this book. So, the first throw is your inside leg and arm drop. There's really nothing to talk about this one uh, in terms of having something unique that's not in judo. It's your classical kataguruma fireman's carry, uh, even on one knee. So, you can find it anywhere in a lot of folk style wrestling uh, styles or uh, disciplines. So... We even have the one knee blocking the leg. Let's check out a Kodokan uh, example of it. So here, he go, he pulls Kuzushi and you have the one knee thing and just hurls them over, wheels them over the shoulder with the hand. Again, there's not much to say about this one other than you can find it anywhere in the world. The next one is very interesting. The next one is, you know, back, back heel and you have the arm is wrapping around so the back heel is your osoto kind of like the scottish um, back hold wrestling so you see he has the arm uh, over his head while the other one is wrapping the stomach and grabbing the waist and he's driving them backwards with his osoto otoshi or osoto gari the back heel um, in english terminology so uh, this one is very interesting to find yourself in this one. However, there is a judo uh, approach to this, but the entry is, I'm pretty sure it's 100% different uh, than your catch wrestling uh, entry, but there's not much detail on it. But here's the judo one. Um, it's none other than the Pedro. Uh, footage courtesy fighting films link in the description. Of course, you see Kayla Harrison faints a Sode Tsuri Komigoshi gets underneath the arm, turns completely to the other side rather than throwing her opponent forward. And from there, she wraps around the back, not around the stomach. So that's the only difference. Here you see, she has the, her head underneath the arm, but the, the other arm of Kayla, look, it's around the back, not wrapping the stomach and finishes with O Soto Gari. So uh, it's a very similar position. It's one arm that's changing. However, I'm very curious to see how the catch wrestler went uh, into it. So this one here, of course, you have your leg grab and a leg reap happening at the same time. This is something you see everywhere here in catch wrestling. You pick up the leg and then you reap the other one. Um, while you can also see it in striking uh, disciplines such as Muay Thai, uh, kudo, karate, etc. People lifting the leg up and then going for an o uchigari with the other one. So here you see he picks up the leg and then you can see him doing a back heel or inner back heel with the other one. So o uchigari. So um, this is like your old school judo, soto ashidori, uh, o uchigari. So you grab from the outside, soto ashidori or ashitori, uh, leg grab. Torimas is to grab or take an ochigari, you know, in a reap. So this is courtesy of efficient judo. You, like I said, you can see it in a lot of striking um, disciplines. You see Muay Thai, you see uh, in MMA, you see it here in uh, Karate. A lot of people just grab and then either do like a kochi or a deashi harai with the other leg or just pummel them, but grabbing the leg when it comes to striking and then ripping the other one is also very common. So again, the human body is one around the world. So it's very easy to come to the same conclusion. However, the entry is what I'm interested in, but these old books, you know, they 
they cannot provide you with a lot and it's understandable uh, considering their time and printing and all that energy that had to go into them this next one here is your double leg takedown now this one i find it interesting he's grabbing the calf the calves rather than you know the lower part of the thigh on the knee and um, the way he's bent down in my opinion i don't know maybe i'm wrong but in my opinion it's not the most optimal way to go for a moro tegari or a huge pickup with the legs like a skuinage so um the way he's bent down like this it's not as efficient maybe there is something to it so this is your judo's moro tegari you enter you don't have to pick up you just actually dive in kind of like a tackle but you have to really go low, not just bend your back downwards like the wrestler did. So that's my question mark on this is how does he actually finish it? Because the way he's standing, it's not a very efficient one. And at the same time, he's very much prone to so many attacks uh, standing like this. And the final one is your Osotogari from a double wrist lock grip. You see, double wrist lock grip, in my opinion, is a very underrated grip for takedowns. Uh, in grappling, you see it often, but only for Sumigaishi, like um, Shori Hamada, Uta Abe, Masahiko Kimura, the great Masahiko Kimura. And I'll show you a few examples later on. But from this one, there is just so much, in my opinion, you can do. Maybe you can do like a legless fireman. Um, you can do uh, like a like Aikido's Kokyonage. There's many things that you can do. You can just whip it downward and they would fall and they would roll. You can do a Yoko Wakare from this uh, uh, position or an Udegeshi, they also call it. But here it's a grip and you can easily take someone's balance off because of the shoulder, how you can control it. So here you see Uta Abe is doing a Sumigaishi with this grip and Amandine Bouchard is just tapping endlessly, that poor woman. So, and of course here you see the great Masahiko Kimura doing it as a sumigaishi and using the grip to actually maintain a pin. This is a very efficient grip to actually maintain a pin, not just to submit someone here. I'll show you a very simple example. It doesn't even grip it as like a double wrist. You know, he grabs his thigh and it's an Ushiro Kesa Katame and it's very hard to get out of this one. And he's only maintaining the arm uh, contact. The, like he controls the entire body, keeps it down only with this grip and he just uh, hooks his thigh with it. So it's a very efficient grip. Uh, not only for the submission, you know, the Kimura or the double wrist lock or Ude Garami, but also for various takedowns, in my opinion. So uh, let me know from Russian Thai, can you get that grip? Um, I'm not entirely sure. No, Gi is not really my world. So uh, if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Uh, the book will be down in the description below. Also, I'm very thankful for my friends for sending me these uh links these books all these all these material that i can just go through and discuss with you uh, all uh, also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content only this was shady and thank you for listening